whether it's household chores, work tasks, or significant business decisions. Sometimes it seems easier to put things off than it is to get started and conquer whatever lies in front of you. The action of just getting started often meets the most opposition. There's always something more entertaining than household chores. Or if you're grappling with the decision to become a virtual assistant or virtual expert, you let all the risks and uncertainties be your excuse for not starting. In this video, I'll share how you can overcome the fear of getting your new career as a virtual assistant or virtual expert started. When you delay starting anything, whether it's your housework or a new career, what's the outcome? If it's household chores, you know you can eventually get them done. Unfortunately, magic fairies that leave your house in sparkles aren't real, so you're going to have to do the work yourself eventually. Likewise, putting off work-related tasks yields the same results. Eventually, you must do them. And by procrastinating, you're now rushed and stressed out. Let's examine the results of delaying your decision to start a new career. Perhaps you remain stuck in an unfulfilling job. Perhaps you get no raises or just tiny little raises. So as the cost of living increases, your income falls further and further behind. The consequences of not starting seem worse than taking that first action and conquering what's in front of you to accomplish something that will ultimately lead to a more gratifying life. From my personal experience in the experience of hundreds of business owners I've interviewed, I've learned that after taking the first step to accomplish tasks or make a big decision, the subsequent tasks are a lot easier. How do you overcome the fear of starting your virtual assistant business? prioritize. On a daily basis, preferably every evening before you quit work for the day, make a list of the next day's top three priorities and only three. Once you know those three priorities, schedule specific times to complete the most pressing tasks of your day. Identifying the most important tasks in your day allows you to focus on one task at a time without feeling bombarded by all the other things you need to accomplish. It gives you focus and perspective. If you have repetitive tasks that you do daily or weekly, schedule those to be completed on the same day every week. Then you can prioritize your tasks within a structure that's already familiar. You're creating a habit, thus increasing your productivity and decreasing your stress and anxiety. If you're grappling with a big business decision, such as starting your VA business, prioritize your reasons before even entertaining the idea. Then use those reasons to inspire your choice. What do you want to change in your life that serves as motivation for this decision? What will you gain if you take that first step? What will you lose if you do not take that first step? Why is it important to you? What's holding you back? Recognize that you are in control. You have a choice to make. You can give in to procrastination and live with the consequences, or you can set specific goals and timeframes in which to achieve your goals. Most often, the only person standing in your way is you. Therefore, set goals, make plans, schedule specific times to dedicate to particular tasks and get out of your own way, right? It's not the decision that's difficult. It's the indecision. Let go of perfection. Often the task itself, especially if it's unfamiliar, challenging, or time consuming is intimidating. And the intimidation of the task itself is compounded by the desire for perfection. So let go of perfection. Getting something done is more important than getting it perfect. Remember my motto, progress over perfection. Take the time for the things you enjoy. Make room in your life for the things you love. Taking even minimal breaks during each day 
to do something you enjoy can have a significant impact on your productivity. An entrepreneur article addressing the importance of taking time off states, working without let up is a bad habit that can jeopardize business, health, and the life you're supposedly working toward. I know, I do this. I myself am trying to create new habits. Failing to take time for yourself to do the things you love eventually leads to burnout. You need breaks, time to rest and recharge. Give yourself that time. Even the smallest investment in yourself can have a huge impact. Ask yourself, is it worth it? Sometimes the consequences of procrastination are minimal. For example, does waiting to complete your household chores until three hours later have a major impact on your life? Probably not unless your mother-in-law is coming over. But that time does add up. And the bigger the task or decision that you're putting off, the more impact it holds over your life. Do the choices you're delaying impact your happiness or your success? If yes, are you willing to suspend your joy or your prosperity because you're scared of taking the first step? Get support. When you have support to help you move forward, to complete any task, especially something as important as starting your virtual career, it's much easier and less scary. To receive support from me and other successful virtual experts, join my expert VA and virtual expert community by clicking the link below. What questions or comments do you have about this video or about becoming a virtual assistant? Post them in the comments below. I promise to respond. To help you see more of the videos I create, please click like on this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel.